Welcome back to Simply Our Home. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. If you've missed my previous videos, I've already decorated my home for fall in my family room as well as in my kitchen. So if you're interested in those, I will link those above. But today we're going to be decorating for fall here in my dining room. I've got all my things laid out and we'll get started here soon. But first, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you in my YouTube family. And my next video coming up shortly will be of my fall home tour. So I hope that you'll enjoy that as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on today's video. So today I'll be starting out here on my buffet table. It's actually a TV stand, but I'm just using it as my buffet. I'm wiping down all of my furniture with the Method Wood for Good daily cleaning. Then we'll start decorating with all the farmhouse decor. For my dining room, I want to incorporate a farmhouse touch with splashes of galvanized metal throughout the decor. So here on the left side, I'm using this bucket, which I found on Amazon in a set of six. Then I'm adding this pot of beautiful bright fall mums that I got from Michaels a few years ago. To the opposite side, I'm adding the largest of three glass hurricanes from Kirkland's, also from years past, along with an assortment of white pumpkins. Next, I'm placing this small metal platter up on a picture stand, which I think complements and balances the arrangement. I love to place items in odd numbers, like in groups of three, five, seven, for example, because it is more pleasing to the eye. So to accomplish this, I'm adding my false graph cream and sugar. You might have noticed the grapes are gone. In a future video, I'll show you how I've renewed my false graph pieces to suit my current style. Lastly, I'm scattering more white pumpkins along with some fall leaves to complement the vignette. To the wall, I'm adding back my tobacco basket from Hobby Lobby. More wall decor will be coming up later in the video, so be sure to stick around. I'm finally adding back wall decor after finishing up the painting here in our dining room. I'll link that video up above if you'd like to see this room's transformation. Moving on to the right side of our dining room, I wanted to add a cozy oasis to this otherwise empty area. To accomplish this, I think adding throw blankets and pillows really sets the stage for a peaceful place to have my morning coffee and read my daily devotional. Today's Bible verse was Luke 6.31 stating, Do to others as you would want them to do to you. What a wonderful lesson we all need to live by. And the peace and happiness in remembering this simple task would be such an impact. To these wall baskets that I got from Amazon, I wanted a natural rustic look of fall foliage spilling out of them. I created this by taking individual stems from various fall greenery pieces that I already had on hand from past falls and wiring them together along with a cotton stem to finish off this arrangement. Moving on to my hutch, this furniture piece has always given me decorating problems. It has so much glass, mirrors, and doors, which complicates the farmhouse vibe that I so desperately want. I have all intentions on transforming this piece completely, which will be in a later winter project, into one that I will love. I will definitely be bringing you along, so be sure if you're interested in seeing this to let me know down in the comments and to have those notifications turned to all so that you won't miss any of my future videos. As you can already see, I just couldn't help myself and had to remove the glass doors to see if I liked it better, which indeed I did. But once I removed the doors, it led to another project, which was staining the area that was behind all the hinges. Thankfully, it wasn't that hard and I had all the supplies that I needed on hand. This is what I'll be using, the Verithane Wood Stain in Light Walnut. I'm just taking a brush and putting that where the hinges were Letting that set for a little bit, the longer you let your stain set, the darker the color will be. And then I'm just going to wipe that away with a rag, which was my old sock. So I'm just going to continue around getting all these hinges stained, and then we'll get back to decorating. I will 
I'm already loving the hutch so much better without the doors. I'm so glad I went ahead and took the first step into transforming the piece and it really gets me excited to do a complete overhaul. I want to keep the decor very simple so I'm sticking to soft muted colors and pops of greenery. To this middle shelf which is the focal point I'm adding this rustic milk jug that is from Southern Living at Home. Next I'm placing the matching hurricanes to the one on my buffet table. But to these instead of pumpkins I'm adding two chunky delicious smelling butterscotch pillar candles. I added this white Target dollar spot basket as a backdrop so that the foreground would stand out against the smeared back. I scattered an assortment of white pumpkins throughout for some subtle fall interest. If you want open your door. The bottom shelf, I'm just adding a stack of my china set so that it can still be readily accessible but becomes part of the decor. Let me know in the comments below, do you own a china set? I was contemplating selling ours, but there's something that is still near and dear to my heart, so in my opinion, I'm going to hang on to it. Finishing off the sides of the cabinet, I'm going to be adding greenery and the white houses from last year's Target Dollar Spot. I like to zigzag the placement of these items to create balance and interest. love how this turned out. It definitely doesn't scream fall by any means, but I think the minimal fall touches complements the other pieces of fall decor that I have going on in the room. Moving right along onto the dining room table, here I'm using Methods Wood for Good Daily Wood Cleaner. I wanted to mention that you can get this along with so many other great cleaning products from Grove Collaborative. Be sure to check them out if you're interested in getting some fabulous new fall scented cleaning supplies. My favorite are the apple cider scent with a close second being the acorn spice. I'll have a link in the description box below so you can take a look. And remember, you can get a free gift set too when you sign up. For my centerpiece, I'm adding this beautiful metal bronze scale from Decor Steels. I love having a simple, removable centerpiece that allows everyone to be seen and provides opportunity for sharing good conversation. I want a more relaxed, cozy feeling, and in my opinion, an elaborate centerpiece, although beautiful, doesn't allow this to happen very naturally. So, simply, I'm just adding Spanish moss, leaves, and a white pumpkin to each side of the scale. Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend, cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. For my table setting, I'm going very neutral with a pop of burnt orange. I've already made a few simple changes since filming, so be sure to stay tuned for my fall home tour where you'll see all my final tweaks and changes that I've made. First, I'm starting with these white distressed chargers from Hobby Lobby and adding a Hobby Lobby napkin. Then for my dinner plate, I'm sticking with my favorite white plain stoneware from Walmart. I'm incorporating my china by using the salad plate. And I love using different pieces to provide uniqueness and texture without being too matchy-matchy. To top it all off, I'm adding a hammered glass bowl from Southern Living at Home with two burnt orange pumpkins to add an exciting jolt of color to the neutral setting. I didn't think that I would find that someone who's as 
I'm going to go ahead and add the remaining three place settings before giving you a final look at my completed fall dining room tablescape. And it's cold outside, but you make it all right. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. I could stay forever when I'm lying in. There you have it. Here it is, all decorated and ready for our fall dinners. To add a finishing touch to this bare wall, I want to hang this metal bronze tree art piece. A rule of thumb for hanging any artwork is to place the center of the art at 57 inches from the floor. So that is what I'm measuring out. My heart is open. It just took some time. Once everything is measured and level, I'm using monkey hooks to hang the piece. What I love about these is that the hole made in the wall is fairly small and they're able to hold up to 75 pounds. The last step to creating a welcoming, cozy fall dining room is to finish the room off with a good vacuuming. Every season change, I'm amazed at how dusty it gets when I'm decorating. I like to leave the floors for last so that the dust explosion can be taken care of once everything is in its place. One good vacuuming and everything is back to normal, thankfully. I hope you've enjoyed decorating my dining room with me this year for fall, and I hope I've given you tons of inspiration. This is actually my third fall 2020 decorate with me, so if you like this one, you might be interested in my previous ones. My first one was farmhouse decor for your tier trays and more, focusing on my kitchen, and the second one was my fall decorate in my family room. So be sure to check them out if you haven't already. I'll link them above as well as in the description box below. If you did enjoy today's video, be sure to give me a like, share, and definitely subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Remember, my fall home tour will be posted soon, so I hope to see you back for that one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye!